I'm gonna do something kind of different today. Yeah, let me turn down my fan real quick, actually. Uh, ceiling fan, I mean. I'm going to be uh, comparing my computer and my uh, processors to AMD's uh, Zen architecture. So, according to the website, I don't have it recording the thing, I just actually have it recording Blender itself. I had to get Blender again. I used it a few years ago, then I um, stopped using it, then I went over to 3DS Max when I started um, learning how to use that in school. Uh, so, um, the Zen architecture gets, uh, where is it? It's got to say somewhere. Um, I've got an article here. Uh, man, I should have I should have checked this before I actually <laughs> before I actually um before I actually started. Okay, so let's see. During AMD's demo, it took the Ryzen 36 seconds to complete the task. How long does it take? Your processor will largely depend on the number of cores and threads, and of course, clock speed. As a point of reference, uh, we ran a system. Well, this computer has um, two E five six four fives. 5645s, um, which are 6-core, 12-thread uh, processors, and both of them are overclocked to 3.4 something or other odd number, 3.42 gigahertz. I just used a multiplier, but it goes from like a weird number or something, so I always get like a few decimal places, but if everything's the same, I use Blender 2.6, I think it's 2.78, so it's changed a bit. I'm assuming I just click this again. And we'll see how it goes. I'm not timing it. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to kick the um, kick uh, OBS in the balls. Oh yeah, the the update on the the excuse me the preview on OBS isn't even changing, uh, even though I'm using uh, my GPU. Y you might be able to hear my um, my fans, my CPUs uh, fans kicking into full gear. I have two Cooler Master V8 uh, GTS's cooling it. What? Oh. Oh, it was updating. It just didn't show the r the window. That's weird. Hold on. Can I uh, add um, window capture? No, not window capture. I want to put monitor capture. Uh, Man, this is going to be the best video I've ever made. <laughs> they don't have it. Display capture. Wow, that was weird. It's got a different name now. There. Awesome. Okay. Now that I know that, I'll try that again. Oh, there's the thing. Hold on. How do I exit this? Back to right there. Render. Let's watch it again. Okay. So, <laughs> the the thing wasn't uh the thing wasn't lagging out OBS. It's just that it wasn't recording the full thing because in a similar way to 3ds max this opens a uh, a separate window of sorts over the initial thing and it kind of covers it up oh by the way i didn't actually see how long it took i wasn't watching the time i just kind of closed it so uh, so far oh yep time remaining up there time spent up there okay time 34.92 seconds what was AMD's? Thirty six seconds. Well, the main difference here is I have two processors, so that's going to be different. Um, most games can't actually use two processors at once. Some can, like Watch Dogs in the Division and some Ubisoft games seem to be able to, but that's about it. Um, and then there's something else I saw about... Oh yeah, and you can see, uh, you can see my browser now. Um, somewhere it said they uh, had a different quality. Uh... Render sample size, okay. Uh, let's see if I remember how to find it. No, I'm just gonna check here. Sampling. Oh, it's been so long. Oh, there it is. It's right there, I didn't even see it. Yeah, render, uh, 150. 
and I thought up here they said like they used 50 or something. Um, when AMD ran the same test back in August, they used a sample size of 100, but that was to shorten the demo for attendees. I'm going to set it to 100, see what I get. 100. Render. Yeah, it's going a bit faster. Noticeably faster. This is beautiful. But still, I'm, I'd, I'd, I'm really, I'd really be looking forward to the, uh, the new AMD uh, processors. I don't know about you guys, but I still like AMD. I think they're pretty cool. Not temperature wise. Well, this one's got a, um, a uh, TDP of, I think it's like ninety two watts, something like that. I blasted up the uh, quality. It's going to take forever now. <laughs> you know, I never, when I was using this, I never really got cycles to look good. I guess I didn't know um, how to change the quality, so everything was always extremely noisy. I think there's actually some way to um, put in hardware acceleration. Like, I knew this guy who used Blender. I didn't, but... Um, yeah, there's, uh, there's got to be something. Path tracing, yeah square samples. I don't know what that means. Whatever, I'll find it out later. Maybe not. That's it. See ya.